in the last video we went through making this fire material. In this video we're going to be going through creating our smoke material that goes along with this fire material. <coughs> so I'm going to go ahead come into import and I gotta navigate to my folder where I have it stored and I am going to be pulling up T underscore smoke hit open compression no alpha and OK now if we look at the smoke material really quick all it is is a 1024 texture with an image of a little smoke puff on it and it's as simple as that when creating the smoke material well inside of Photoshop anyway it's as simple as creating that texture and that's just a picture of smoke that I grabbed so next we'll go create new material and I need to make sure it's in material okay so first thing we need is a multiply and our multiply is going to plug right into emissive and then we're going to need a vertex color the vertex color, we'll drag it right to here, plug its RGB into A, and then we'll need to search for a desaturation. And we're going to plug desaturation into B, and we're going to plug constant into percent, and we're going to set this to 0.5 or 50% opacity, and then our texture sample plugs into our first input here on the desaturation but it's not complete yet we need to add another multiply and we need to make sure like right now if you're using the newer version of UDK it grays out these inputs so what we need to do is we need to come in here and turn translucent on and then we'll plug that into opacity and then we need a power node and now our power is going to plug into A like so and we're going to come out of the red input and plug that into our base and you could either choose red, green, or blue. I just like the, the output that came off of the red channel. We're going to plug our exponent in and we're going to set its value to 0.1 and then we can copy and paste our vertex color and that goes into our alpha into B Actually, you know what, I don't think I want translucent. There we go. Um, switch, yeah. I don't know why I picked translucent. I was thinking water for some reason, but let's switch this over to additive. And also come in here and set unlit. And now scroll down here, and we want to pick, oh, where is it? I am looking for the particles, particle used with particle sprites. Make sure that is turned on. And now we can go ahead and close this down. 